Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today I want to do a quick tutorial on Salesflare. Maybe you have a hard time just starting up or you have no idea how hard it is to get started. So this is the main dashboard for Salesflare and the first thing we're going to do is head on over to the bottom left where we have the options. So right here on the bottom left. And the first thing we're going to see is manage your teams. What are manage your teams? Well, depending on the account that you have on Salesflare, you have the option to add more team members or as you want to call them workers depends what you want to call them but you can add them right here so what do they do so for example if you want to start a task you can select what you can select which team member you want that task selected to so you can do that right there next thing we got is set targets so what is your target for this year so for example hey you want to do the 100k this year so you can select that as a target you can select the year or when you want it hey by two by 2021 I want to hit the $100,000 mark or 1 million, it just depends how big your, your, your business is and you can add that right there. Next thing is the regional settings. Regional settings are really important because you want to set the right time zone of where you are because the tasks are, are integrated with the time you are in. So the task is going to pop up when the time you put right there. So you want to use 12 hour clock. When does your week start? You want to start on Monday or maybe you don't open Monday. So your week actually starts on Tuesday. So that would be an option and you can do that there. Time zone and the currency that you're going to be using. So you got all these options for currency. You can see right there, all those are available. Next thing we got is the configure pipeline. Well, the pipeline is over here by opportunities. So what are pipelines? So let's just say, for example, you call the client or you added one and you send them a proposal. And this proposal was for X amount of money. And you can put that there. Is this guy that you sent just a lead? Is Has he been contacted? So maybe you add a whole bunch of leads. Hey, let's just say I, I'm at the expo and I'm the guy who has a stand and I'm getting all these clients coming in, the guys who are on the expo, and they are leads. So I add them all to leads. And once I start contacting them, I move them to contacted. If they are qualified, you send them to this. Is Did you send them a proposal? You add it over here. And if they accept your proposal or paid off, you can put as one. If they lost, well, you just put it to lost. And all this information is going to help you. That's going to be over here on insights. Next thing we got is billing. Well, if you have your billing option right here, you can add it right there. Customized fields. Well, these customized fields are made depending on how your business is made or what the information that you need is going to be right here. So these are the main ones like website, name, description, obviously all this CAD proposals. But maybe you want to add a custom field right here. Let's just say um, codes. They, they, they use a coupon code. Well, you can put that right there. Codes or I mean, just whatever you want. Have it there. Uh, task settings. You can have managed notes. You can set that to star. Email needed a reply. Account inactive for X days. And you can have this right here set to open, which is to on or off. Next thing we got is the notification settings. So all these settings right here, if you want to get all these notifications on your email or wherever you set it to, just on or off, depending if you really want that or not. Maybe you don't want a page visit notification. I mean, maybe that's not something for you. Just turn it off. Next thing we have is the email settings. Well, this is the main part where you get started. And right here, we click this little uh, plus button and you can add your Gmail, Office 365, Outlook.com or an IMAP. Why is this important? Well, this is where all your campaigns are going to go from. This is where the information is going to pull from also. So maybe you want to add contacts that are already in your, on your email account. Well, it's going to pull that there and you can add it comfortably here in the accounts and contacts. So recommend it at your email account there. Next thing is the calendar settings. Do you want to link your Gmail calendar? Let's just say I'll add another. Whoops, look right there. It's going to send me to add another one. I don't want to do that right now. But you can add your calendar right here so it's linked to there. So if you add a task over here, you're also going to get a notification on your calendar, either on your phone, tablet, another laptop, or maybe you got it connected to your Google or Alexa and you got the calendar over there. It's going to alert you there also. Applications and integrations. This is where we can see all the integrations that we have. So, for example, this is a Gmail integration. If I head on over to Gmail, I have this is my Salesforce account. It's over here right now. Do you see? If every every email I open, I'm gonna get this opportunity right here. I can close it or I could just open it that way. And what this does is give me an opportunity to add an account over here really quick, really quick contact or account. Once we have that, that's easy, right? And then we got also Outlook integration, App Store. We got the iOS app. We got the Play Store app. Also have it installed. 
like I said, maybe you're an expo, maybe you're somewhere else or whatever, you can add clients really quick from your phone. Integrations, we got Zapier, PySync, Salesflare, uh, website tracking script, email tracking script. So maybe you're using another uh, email sender, not using Salesflare uh, email sender. So you can add the script from that right there and you can also track it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, available or important integrations from Zapier, all these right here, from Salesforce to Slack. I don't know what this one is, but you can add it from to Slack all to Salesforce and just all these options that you have right here. You got Intercom, which is pretty important. Mailchimp, this one right here, Auto Close, Bookify. So there's many, many of them right here, and these are just an examples of quick integrations. So these are gonna open on Zapier, and it's gonna have it's like start filling it up really quick or you can find other ones you do also next thing we have is the import data so import data would be if you have a csv file let's just say hey i ran a giveaway or i got a, a, an older crm or whatever you're using just import it really quick right here using a csv file next thing we have is the api key if you want to integrate it somewhere i'm not going to show that right now then we got change password and support these are the main things that it's, I mean, it's super easy to get set up with Salesforce. It's going to take you about 10 minutes or even less to get it set up. And just really quick, what these are, these are the tasks. Like I showed you, you can add tasks right here. It's going to remind you also the accounts. This is, this is where the accounts are. You can add files, timeline. Then we have the contacts. This is where all your contacts are and you can start your campaign from here. Opportunities. We talked about that. You can have, these are just test opportunities. These are not my real accounts. And you can add, like I said, leads, contact, qualifies, proposal made. Is it won or lost? I mean, it just depends. I want to set it over here. Now we set up to one, and it's, it's that easy. Just drag and drop. Or you can click these options and move it around. Campaigns, when you want to do a campaign, you can check that out. And the insights, like I said, these are the insights at the end. All this information is going to help you run better your business. If you guys want to check out how this whole thing works i got another video that the link is going to be in the description if you guys want to grab salesforce that's also going to be in the description well thank you guys my name is george and this is sas master and i'll see you guys later